What is up you guys? Glitches here coming at you with another Dauntless video. But first, if you enjoy quality gaming content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. That being said, if you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to smash that like button and comment down below. I appreciate all of your guys' feedback as always. And speaking of your guys' feedback, I recently held the poll on the channel regarding whether or not you guys still wanted me to do my room request video guides. And it was an overwhelmingly positive result. Uh, more than like 86, 87% of you said that you still wanna see these uh, cool room request review guides. So I'm bringing you one of those today. This is for the Cold Stone Armory room request. It unlocks the uh, Igris Yehelm Skarn Helmet Transmog. I can never pronounce that name. <laughs> But uh, yeah, pretty cool helmet transmog. But before we jump into all the steps, I did want to announce that we're doing another 1500 subscriber giveaway. For those of you that don't know, anytime we hit a big milestone on the channel uh, for subscriber count, I do do a small giveaway on the Discord. So all you have to do is click the links down below and join the Glitch Gang Discord and uh, hit up the giveaway section to join that giveaway. But yeah, let's jump right into the steps for this uh, guide and I'll show you guys how to get this really cool transmog. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously head over to Oz and select the rumor section and snag the Igrith Yelhelm rumor mission to start it. And then once you start it, you're immediately gonna to wanna to back out and talk to him again to accept part one and auto complete part one. So pretty easy first step, usually how they always start. But once you finish part one, he's immediately gonna send you over to Dr. Priyani to start part two. Uh, don't mind the lag spike. Ramsgate can be a little finicky sometimes. But yeah, you go over to Dr. Priyana to start part two, and she wants us to slay any Deep Frost Skarn with a Frost weapon. So just find Deep Frost Skarn within the Frost Escalation, and as long as you got that Frost weapon equipped, you should be able to complete that no problem. And then you also need to complete that one gold bounty. So you may have to wait until you get one, but if you're lucky, you can finish that off and turn it in. Once you do that, part two will be done, and then you can head back to Dr. Priyani to turn in part two. Go and talk to her. Thank you for your Complete efforts. step two. And once you complete step you two, she's going to send you over to the Ramsgate Bazaar to talk to Gregario. So head over to the Bazaar. Talk to Gregario to start part three. And in part three, we need to do 250,000 damage to Frost Behemoths while wearing the Sight of Stone Helmet, as well as complete two Silver Bounties. Now, the Sight of Stone Helmet is the normal Skarn Helmet. So if you don't have this crafted yet, you're going to have to run over to Mora at the Armorsmith and uh, make this helmet first. But once you get it, throw it into your build and uh, use that while you're doing the 250,000 damage portion of the quest. So yeah, that's what the Sight of Stone Helmet looks like. Just equip that, and then obviously do those two Silver Bounties. And once you complete that, you'll be done with Step 3. Let's go back to Gregario, complete Step 3. Once you turn it in, he's going to send you over to Arkin Drew by the Escalation Terminal to start Part 4. So let's head over there. Talk to Ark and Drew. And for part four, we need to dodge through 50 challenge. attacks as well as damage a Frost Behemoth and use a Bulwark Tonic. So the first portion is pretty straightforward. Find any Frost Behemoth on any hunting grounds or Escalation. Do some damage, pop a Bulwark Tonic, and then reset and keep doing that until you get all 10. As for the dodges, unlike the Vision of Fire quest, uh, it doesn't have to be projectiles. Uh, you, so you can technically do this on any normal Behemoth, but I still like the tried and true harpy method here uh what this one is if you guys don't know is you grow into aldrich's peak and look for a public event and the first wave of those public events will always be a group of harpies two of which will have these long distance ice projectile attacks so you kill off all the other harpies except for these last two and eventually they'll split off from each other and they'll just consistently do these frost projectiles which you can dodge really really quick so Please once you get all those run, steps survive. done you head back to arkandrew to turn in part four and from here, he's going to send you over to Granny to start part five. So just run down the steps, talk to Granny. 
And for this one, this is probably arguably the longest step of the entire rumor. You're going to need 10 Deep Frost Brow Scales from the heads of Aether Charge Deep Frost Scarns, as well as doing a few other things. Uh, in this case, it's getting uh, Aether Dust. So quick Aether Dust trick is to just head over to the middleman and go to the My Cell section and shard any of the extra cells that you don't need. Uh, just bear in mind that plus six is the highest you can go for any given cell. So anything more than the plus six that you need, you can get rid of. So just dismantle all of those extra ones. And that is a really quick way of getting that Aether Dust. And then for the Brow Scale um, section, this is the tricky part. The key thing you're going to want to look for once you hunt down these uh, Skarns is you're going to want to wait for the Skarn to do this animation right here. That's the animation that he'll do right before going into the Aether Charge mode. And you'll notice when he lands that the Behemoth meter in the top right corner will show the green glow, meaning it's Aether Charge. Once that happens, you just spam the head and hopefully you can get that break before he dies. And that is how you get those brow scales from the Frostback Skarns. Do that 10 times. May take a little while because the spawn rate can be a little finicky. But uh, once you get it, pretty straightforward. You turn that in. And then you're done with part five. Stay healthy, now, once you're done with part five, she's going to send you over back to the middleman to start part six. And this step may or may not take a little while. Um, it's going to be your typical farming mission here for some behemoth parts. Um, much like the Vision of Fire and other rumor quests, though, if you have all these parts already, it will auto complete. So you can just talk to him again and check it. And as you can see, I had a lot of those parts already. But if you guys don't have them yet, here is a quick cheat sheet that I made that'll tell you where and how to get all of those parts. But uh, once you get all those parts, as well as complete two silver bounties, you're going to head back to the middleman to turn in part six. And now we're almost done. Once you turn in part six, he's going to send you over to Moira down at the Armorsmith. For the last final part seven. And this one is pretty easy. You can usually do this on your first try. All we got to do is slay a Deep Frost Skarn while taking less than a thousand damage. Uh, I use the build that I uh, showed off in my Stagger Avatar build guide. Uh, I'll link to that video above as well. But all you got to do is slay the Skarn as fast as possible. And like I mentioned before, the thousand damage is pretty forgiving. So, like you just saw, I took a hit and uh, I still get credit for it. So it is a little more lenient than the 100 damage ones back in the day. But yeah, just quickly slay Skarn here. You guys called me out for not using my charge strikes on my hammers during my <laughs> build video. So I've been making a more conscious effort to throw those into my combos now. But yeah, finish off Skarn. And as long as you don't take any more than one or two hits, you should be good. There you go. See, I still got credit for it, even though I got hit. And then, yeah, at that point, you guys are pretty much done. You just head back to Ramsgate, talk to Moira again real quick, you aren't turn in part this. seven, and you guys are finished. You get the Igrith Yelhelm Helmet Transmog. I'll equip it real quick, show you guys. I'm sure I got the wrong base dies on, so I'll have to change that around here. yeah pretty cool looking transmog i'll throw the uh, original dice here on in a second but yeah if you guys found this video informative then be sure to hit that like button comment down below i appreciate all your guys's feedback and as always if you uh, enjoyed the content and want to see more dauntless videos on your news feeds then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads last but not least again we are doing the 1500 subscriber giveaway on the discord so be sure to click those links down in the description and join the Glitch Gang Discord. You should get instant access to the giveaway channel. Just hop in there, click the uh, reaction button to join, and hopefully you'll be the lucky winner. But yeah, until the next time, you guys, I hope you all had a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later. 
thanks so much for watching you guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit that like button also if you're looking to join a killer community of like-minded gamers then be sure to click the link in the description and join the glitch gang discord server we continue to grow every day and it's filled with all your favorite game discussion channels as well as several ilfg channels to help you find that perfect group for your next hunt or raid Lastly, if you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with all my future content, then consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Hope you all had a great day and I will catch you on the next one.